I'm Brian Adams, co-founder and CEO of Integrity, and I am thrilled to congratulate my friend Joe Jordan on winning the 2023 John Newton Russell Memorial Award. The insurance industry that we're all part of is one of the most noble professions that exist today. And it's a true virtuous business that everybody wins. And we need more leaders like Joe Jordan to step up and continue to help serve even more people. So congratulations, Joe. This is a well-deserved moment for you. Joe, congratulations on the John Newton Russell Award. It's Gordon here, uh, your friend from Hong Kong. Um, you really uh, are a man uh, who's, life, who's lived a life of significance without any question whatsoever. Congratulations in this hugely deserved award. You've made a difference to so many people's lives. Um, you should be uh, hugely proud. You are, of course, also the best dressed American uh, that I have ever met. And I'm sure you are tonight. So congratulations. Well done, Joe. I'm very impressed. Joe, when I first received the news, you were the recipient of this year's John Newton Russell Award. I was ecstatic. I'm so happy for you and proud of you. You've become one of my most treasured industry relationships over the past 15 years. From the first time I cold called you at the Avenue of the Americas to get you to film for HBN, to our many long talks comparing notes and sharing ideas, philosophizing over cigars, and one of my biggest honors, taking you and Geraldine honky tonking in my hometown of Nashville, Tennessee. Congratulations, Joe, on being chosen as a 2023 John Newton Russell Award recipient. I am very happy for you. You are a most deserving recipient who's dedicated your career to making this great profession even greater. I first met you in 2004 when you spoke on MDRT's main platform about a life of significance. Your message resonated with our members as it spoke not only to the very essence of this great profession, but of who you are as an individual. You embody both the spirit of the John Newton Russell Award as well as the term living a life of significance. Hi, I know Joe Jordan for over 30 years. I'd like to share with you why I love Joe Jordan. In addition to him being one of the brightest marketers I've ever seen, and one of the most creative people, and an incredibly emotional speaker, the reason why I really love Joe is because he's a sensitive, great human being, and I'm really proud to call him my friend. Joe, big hugs, congratulations. Hi, I'm Jack Keen. Congratulations, Joe, so well deserved. I've known Joe Jordan for 20 years now, beginning at MetLife where I was a director and Joe was working in sales and product development. You know, he's, he kind of stuck out right from the beginning because he was so direct and forthcoming. And really that was quite refreshing. We became friends because we had our Fordham legacy of a great Jesuit education that we shared together and also the insurance business. And I learned so much about the insurance business. I traveled around the United States meeting hundreds of insurance agents. And Joe really set the stage for me in terms of what I was really dealing with here and how critical insurance agents are in adding value to people's lives in, in terms of helping to plan their life and plan their future. And then an insurance agent, because they built up trust for so many years with families, are there at the most critical time of their life when they're suffering a personal loss. And because of that agent's compassion and the trust that's there, the agent is able to put their arms around that family and take them through uh, this most difficult time. And as such, Joe has inspired tens of thousands of lives in terms of doing the best you can with your life and contributing to others. You know, Joe, Joe's book is sort of advertised about uh, insurance, but it's really, it's not about insurance. That's just a vehicle. This book is all about 
how to live a good life and and life that has meaning and purpose to it. And that's Joe, because he's done that himself. He has lived a good life that has meaning and purpose to it. And Joe wouldn't be getting this award tonight if it wasn't for the love, the devotion, and support of his beloved, Geraldine. God bless the both of you. And Joe, congratulations once again. I'm so, so proud of you. Hey, Joe, Tom Hagner here. Congratulations on winning the John Newton Russell Award. It's a huge honor. And everybody's going to tonight going to be saying how motivational you are and inspirational you are. And all that's true. But I'm lucky. I had a front row seat to much of your life. And I want to just say some of the things that you did for me. I remember the road shows when you and Ted Kilkuski came through and he'd do mutual funds and you did annuities. You didn't just design products and features. You gave us the words to you. Like every variable annuity has a rebalancer. You didn't call it that. You called it the equalizer. And when the market goes down, we take advantage. We buy more. And when the market goes up, we take profits. You gave us those words. You, you created the equity generator where people put their money in the fixed interest account and only interest went into the market. I think you're the great grandfather of the fixed index annuity. Uh, you taught me triple interest, that your principal earns interest, your interest earns interest, and the money you would have paid in taxes earns interest. You helped me qualify for my first council meeting, and I'll never forget it. You were up on stage, you had a whole operating table. There was lights, your scalpel, a spreader, and you were doing a surgery on Richie Hutter. He was an employee back then, and you found a tax blockage, and you had to do tax deferral bypass surgery. And, and on our seats were these prescription pads with, with tax deferral that we had to go out and talk to all our clients about tax deferral. You, you had these umbrella hats that we all had to wear to shelter us from taxes. You had the CEO of MetLife run around with an umbrella hat. It's the craziest thing ever. But then that night at dinner, I'm sitting at the, around the, at the dinner table, and there was a home office employee. A lot of home office employees never got you from this guy. Said, I don't know what people are seeing this clown. He wears bow ties and white shoes and pirate suspenders. He smokes cigars. His ashes is everywhere. He smells like a cigar. He looks like a freaking cigar. I don't give what they see in him. And I leaned over and I said, hey, when was the last time you got somebody to this council meeting? When was the last time you helped somebody make 100 grand? He goes, well, I do systems. I don't do that. And I said, exactly. That's what Joe does. Um, you taught me when I went out into the speaking world, Tom, Tom, the bigger the audience, the bigger the show. And Joe was a showman uh, of all sorts. He wrote the book, Living a Life of Significance. And he didn't just talk the talk, he walked the walk. So Joe, congratulations on this reward. I think you got one bigger one coming because I believe when you get to heaven, God is going to put his hand on your shoulder and say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You live a life of significance.